Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the show. Hope you guys are having a good day out there. Uh, today we have a very, very fun and exciting episode on how to actually convert our Firebase 3 chat application from Xcode uh, 7 Swift 2.3 to uh, Xcode 8 Swift 3.0. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video, so it's finally here. I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. So before we kind of dive into all of the code, let me just quickly describe uh, the three things that we want to accomplish for today's video. Uh, the first of which is to actually convert all of the Swift uh, 2 syntax to Swift 3.0 via the Xcode 8 helper. Uh, secondly, we want to talk about how we can remove all of that console garbage that shows up in uh, the iOS 10 simulator and also the device as well. And lastly, I want to kind of show you guys how to fix this Firebase 3 keychain problem that uh, is actually required so that you can actually log in to uh, Firebase. So those are the three things that we want to kind of take care of. So uh, having said that, let's go ahead and dive into the code here. And I'm going to start off with the terminal. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this open command on the game of chats Xcode workspace uh, project. This is going to load Xcode up into the uh, frame here. And you're going to see a couple of issues that uh, automatically show up on the left side. It has to do with some pods. And the issue is I don't have the pods installed yet. So if you guys are downloading this project from my website, which is available down below, you're going to have to run the pod install on your machine as well so that your uh, project will actually compile. So having ran the install, the errors kind of went away, but we have this new legacy Swift language error, which is kind of prompting us or is telling us to uh, convert our code to Swift 3 or the current Swift syntax. And I'm going to hit the convert to Swift 3, you know, chats. And usually you might see a prompt uh, show up when you open the project telling you to convert it to Swift 3. Um, but you can also hit the edit menu on the top to perform this step. And here we go. After the, uh, the generating preview is complete, Xcode 8 automatically converts all of your Swift 2 to Swift 3, and it's going to actually tell you exactly what these changes are. So instead of going through <laughs> these many, many changes, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and automatically take in the changes that Xcode is recommending me to take in. So I'm going to build, and when I hit build, you're going to see all of these errors on the left. So here we go. The first error that I wanted to fix here is this white right there. And all I have to do is remove the parentheses. And I'm going to go here, fix that white over here, just like what we did before. And the next thing I want to do is I want to uh, fix this NS number guy. And the reason why this is kind of um, a compiler error in Swift 3 is you just want to say let timestamp um, equals NS number. And then this needs to take in a value instead of just a raw uh, integer. I'm gonna copy that in there and remove this timestamp guy and build the project. We should be in uh, much better shape now. So the next issue that I know a lot of you guys are running into is this NS cache problem. And I went over how to fix this in the YouTube uh, Swift 3 conversion video. And if you guys haven't seen that, let's uh, quickly fix this right here, which is pretty easy. The issue with NS cache inside of Swift 3 is that it now requires uh, the annotation as to exactly what the types of the cache uh, are. In other words, we have to type in NS string and UI image for our cache, which means that it's now storing a UI image for a NS string key. That's how a cache works. It's kind of like a dictionary. You can think of it that way. And if we just click here, click in the insert as an NS string because uh, this URL string is actually a regular string object inside of Swift. And uh, because a string, a plain old S-T-R-I-N-G is a struct in Swift, it actually needs to be converted to a NS string to be uh, stored inside of the cache. That's kind of how that works. If you go here, uh, you'll notice that this guy is trying to unwrap this UI image as an optional but you actually don't need to do the casting because 
Um, NSCAT uh, kind of infers that it's an optional image, so you don't need to do that step. So I'm going to run this application now, and I am going to try to uh, attempt to run it, but I'm going to stop this other project on the side. So that's um, the changes that we kind of need to make in order for the project to just run. So there we go. All the code is now converted to Swift 3. And uh, there's going to be an issue after you run the project. Let me show you guys exactly what that is first. So before I can actually hit the register, I want to remove all of this garbage inside of the console in the bottom right here that I was mentioning a little bit earlier. Uh, this way you can kind of see a little better uh, the debug messages that are coming out. A lot of this garbage pretty much makes your console really, really uh, unreadable. And after a while, you're probably just going to ignore all the messages if it's going to look like this. So let's go ahead and fix this by clicking up here, edit scheme. Now all you need to do is down here inside of the whatever scheme you're in, which is most likely the debug scheme, you want to hit the plus button here and hit OS activity mode and for value hit disable right there so make sure you don't call it disabled with the d is just a regular disabled for uh os activity mode with these underscores if you close you run the application you're going to be able to run it and you look at the console down here you're going to get some messages but it's not the overwhelming garbage that comes up for ios 10 and xcode 8 and uh, now you can actually uh visibly see what's going wrong okay hopefully this is helpful you guys should do this for your projects but uh, if you want all of those messages for some reason uh, you can go ahead and leave it on anyhow the first message or the first error that we're running into is this uh will reset device id from memory i'm not exactly sure what that means but the reason why this project is kind of like this right now is uh, this keychain problem that I think I'm going to run into. So I'm gonna show you guys what happens when I try to register a new user. So I'm gonna hit some person, some person three at gmail.com. And let's just hit QQQ, QQQ, and hit register. So upon registering, you're gonna see this error on the bottom. It says error keychain error. Uh, an error occurred while accessing the keychain. So basically, it's not able to access the keychain, which is what iOS 10 really needs. Or all the apps require this uh, access to the keychain. And the problem uh, is already something that Firebase is aware of. So if you go to Chrome and just type in, what is this? Uh, Firebase 3 or Swift 3 blog, the very first post that comes up is going to talk about this actual keychain issue. So if I search for keychain, down here it says quick note about Firebase Auth and Xcode 8. And then it mentions that there's already a radar for Apple to fix this issue. I'm not exactly sure what they're trying to fix, but they link you to this Stack Overflow post. And inside of here is the actual fix, which is the suggested uh, post right here. And all you have to do is to kind of follow that by going into your project, opening up this target here, and going into capabilities, you'll see this keychain uh, toggle, which is down here called keychain sharing. You want to toggle that on just like that. Then you're going to have to add an account and uh, have a bunch of accounts there, but that's uh, something that you should be able to take care of. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and go into my project general settings. And inside of here, I'm going to just select one of my accounts that should have a working developer key. So now that I have that selected, I'm just going to run the project and it's going to show me the register screen again. And now I can just register some person for some person for at gmail.com with a password like so hit the register and now the keychain error is going to go away i believe so now that i have those changes in 
I notice that sometimes it doesn't actually take into effect. So I'm going to run it one more time and hopefully uh, I can actually register into uh, Firebase. So let's go here. Okay, last try. Some person by at gmail.com. Let's see, gmail.com. Q, 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 Q. Hit register. Um, the problem is I'm still getting this keychain error. So what is the exact issue? Let's go back to the browser here and let's go into the capabilities. Go back to keychain uh, key key sharing, actually toggle that feature on. So with that toggle on now, I'm going to try to uh, register one more time and it should fix the issue that we have. So let's go here. Uh, some person, what am I on? Six. Uh, some person six at gmail.com with a password and the error on the bottom should not show up anymore. So it's registering is actually uploading the image to Firebase storage. That's why it's taking a little bit of time. If you click on the new message, you can actually start messaging anyone inside of this list. And uh, as I've noticed, there are quite a few people up here, uh, quite a few people out there that have been using this application. So some of these images actually take quite a while to load. If you click on this and you start messaging this test guy, hello, good sir, how are you? Hit the enter and another message like so. And there you go. You go back, the messages will now show up just like it did before. And so we accomplished a lot of things here. We were able to convert all of the code to Swift 3 relatively easily. And, um, you know, the Xcode 8 helper, the migration tool, is really useful. So I, I do recommend using that if you guys are having problems converting to Swift 3. And secondly, uh, getting rid of all that console garbage is really, really helpful for me at least, because sometimes I really depend on these debug messages to figure out what's going wrong. And lastly, we were able to take care of this keychain sharing issue. And the keychain sharing is just something that's a little unique to iOS 10, I believe. I'm not entirely too sure what the root issue is, but Firebase, uh, the team at Firebase, they're well aware of it. And I'm actually waiting for uh, Swift uh, or Firebase, perhaps 3.1 or 3.2 or whatever the next version is, hopefully it's gonna fix this issue that deals with uh, some of the problems that you're seeing. Okay, and that about wraps it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Make sure to hit that like button if you did. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for videos just like this. Uh, also, the project for today, uh, today's video is available in the description below. Make sure to visit that link and download that project and try to run that to see if it works for you. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any other questions about uh, anything that's Swift 3 related. Uh, okay, that's about it for me. Hope you guys keep on coding and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.